Member for Vancouver Hastings. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I'm happy today to rise to acknowledge Drinking Water Week, a time when we recognize one of the most critical and essential resources that we have. Without water to drink and air to breathe, whatever else we may possess is pretty much moot. In British Columbia, we have a relative abundance of clean, quality drinking water when compared to many places in the world. However, it would be a grave error for us, Mr. Speaker, to become complacent about our situation or smug about the future of water in our province. Scientists are telling us today that one of the negative impacts of climate change we can expect is the availability and quality of our water. These warnings come from scientists in our own province, Mr. Speaker, and from around the world. The International Panel on Climate Change states in their report, and I quote, Warming in western mountains is projected to cause decreased snowpack, more winter flooding, and reduce summer flows, exacerbating competition for over-allocated water resources, unquote. One of the concerns that we need to pay particular attention to, Mr. Speaker, is the state of our glacier system. We are seeing our glaciers across the province at their lowest points in thousands of years. The potential for droughts is growing, and the risk of toxicity is greater than ever before. As University of Victoria Chair of Geography, Professor Dan Smith said recently in the media, at some point in time, we are going to reach a critical threshold where there isn't enough water in our rivers. It may not happen for a long time, but it will happen. Those of us who live in Greater Vancouver have had a long-standing smugness that when we turn on the tap, the water will flow. That was shattered during last year's storms when over a quarter million people faced a boil water advisory. While this situation may not be that uncommon for many in our province, for Vancouverites it was a wake-up call. These impacts are not one-off events, Mr. Speaker. The science tells us that the effects of climate change will make this a more common occurrence. We face a growing challenge as legislators, Mr. Speaker, to ensure necessary regulations and resources are in place to protect the future of water in our province as a public resource. As the stewards Thank of British member. Columbia's water, we need to put that responsibility at the forefront of our agenda and priorities.